Welcome everyone. In this specific video, I'll talk about the crucial $200 monthly increase to Social Security, which affects retirement disability, SSDI survivorship benefits, spousal benefits, and SSI payments. I'll also explain why we keep seeing in the media that some people claim that you already know what this video is about. So let's get right in and go over everything. To start, the $200 per month race is by no means a new subject. In fact, over the past several years, we've heard a lot about it. Was first proposed more than four years ago, in March of 2020, when a small group of politicians proposed implementing a $200 monthly increase for Social Security beneficiaries. This increase was only intended to be temporary, which of course never occurred, but it was around for a while. After that, we didn't really hear anything about it for perhaps a year and a half, or maybe two years at most. A while, give or take a tiny amount. In the Senate, Bernie Sanders and a few of his friends sponsored the Social Security Extension Act, which includes an additional dollar 200 monthly increase for 75 years, basically until the end of the century. That's pretty I've noticed that this has been making headlines recently, and I've even seen people commenting below. In fact, I was chatting back and forth with someone down below just the other day. Cool, that's right. We exchanged a number of messages back and forth over this $200 per month rise in the comment section below. One guy said, I already got it. To which I replied, Really, tell me more details about this. They even promised to send you screenshots, which by the way, manner screenshots of someone else's profit are not something I want to view. Similarly, I don't want to see screenshots of your bank account because that is not information that belongs to me or my firm. I also don't want to see screenshots of your personal data. Any personal information, okay. But anyhow, I had repeated conversations with this person in which we discussed the $200 monthly raise. They responded, Hey, I already got it. To which I replied, Okay, let's talk to the details more about this. And again, exactly. The reason I want to bring this up is that I've read stories about it. And every day when I conduct research, they keep saying, Yep. Some people have actually got this. All right, let's go over the specifics and look at what is truly going on. Happening here, which, by the way, if you haven't already, please do yourself a great favor and subscribe below. It's completely free to do so. The big subscribe button is down there. I'm here to you every day, conducting all the research and discussing. Through specifics like this, responding to your inquiries, speaking up for you, and doing everything I can to support you at this difficult time. The past several years have been difficult. Let's face it, the financial struggles of low-income and fixed-income beneficiaries are not in a good situation at the moment. You are aware of this because you have read all the papers, research, and polls on the subject, and you are living it day in and day out. It's a difficult time for many people. People with fixed or low incomes are currently having a really difficult time. It's a very sad scenario. Every day we're all experiencing this, and I see the stories in the comments section below. I also see all the reports and surveys. It's a difficult world out there, but that's what I'm here for. We need to be there for each other through thick and thin at this difficult time. I promise to keep working on the research and to bring it to your notice on a daily basis. Thank you very much once more. Please subscribe if you're here, and let's go into the specifics. I did some additional research on this and have been looking around, and based on my chat with that person the other day, I delved into this thinking, okay? Some individuals actually understand what is happening here. Now, for the part about the Social Security Expansion Act, I think I stated it a minute or two ago. This was introduced as a result of, this is the bill that contains many modifications to Social Security, including a $200 monthly rise, as proposed by Senator Bernie Sanders and his friends in the Senate. First, I looked into whether it has been passed yet, and the answer is no been passed as of yet, therefore we are aware that it hasn't. After further investigation, it was discovered that the $200 monthly hike was not enacted as a standalone bill. Nevertheless, why have some individuals claimed that it was? They have really received the $100 monthly increase in benefits. However, do they prefer some recipients over others? That seems a little bit suspect, so I looked into it and found that's not the case. I know that a lot of people think that way a lot of the time. Oh, they seem to be favoring others. I was aware that they were pulling a fast one on me once more and working against me. 
even though I can assure you that this isn't the case. I am aware of how frequently we often feel like they are trying to harm us. I promise that if you're feeling that way, I'm right there by your side. They aren't trying to harm you, so know that I understand that this is a difficult moment. Many times when we're struggling, we believe, oh, you know, they're all out to get us. That's not the reality, though, so I keep researching to find out what the scenario is now. This is the issue that I've encountered here. All right, consider. In this manner, if your benefit began at the beginning of 2022 and was at least $1,200 or higher, then you essentially received $200 every month. All right, so pay attention to this because it's actually quite interesting. Month raise, in fact, you received more than that. However, let me clarify the specifics first. Beginning in 2022, we received a 5.9% COLA. In 2023, we received an 8.7% COLA. And in 2024, we received a 3.2% COLA. The cumulative 5.98.73.2 COLAs over the course of these three years equal little under 18%. I know, it's absurd, but in three years, we've gotten almost there. Nearly actually, it's not quite 18%. It's just under, precisely 17.8%. These add up to, so over the course of three years, we saw a 17.8% increase in revenue due to the COLA. Now let's look at the math. As I mentioned a moment ago, if your benefit was at least $1,200, applying a 5.9%, 88.7%, and then a 3.2%, or nearly 18% increase over the course of 2022. Yes, benefits increased as a result of the COLA, which in this case was over $200. Therefore, anyone who applied for 2022 would have received a benefit of at least $11,200 throughout that period. With the colas and compounding, yes, it translated into an increase of over $200 per month. However, this does not account for, sorry, ignores, the decreases in Medicare premiums that resulted from that. Recall that a few years ago rose, um, what was it? $1.14 and a few pennies decreased by 3% a year ago, and this year it increased by an additional $1.09. Oops, sorry. Just under $1.10, $9.80 is the amount it went this year for 2024. All right, so it's not accounting for those reductions. But in actuality, over the last three years, some people have received rises of $1.200 per month, and for the majority of beneficiaries, much more than that. If, therefore, your benefit was less than $1,200 in 2022, then yes, you also received COLA increases, but they weren't quite, uh, at the level of $1.200 or more? Does that make sense? Well, yes, this did happen for some people, and their benefits did rise significantly over the previous few years due to the COLA. So here's where it gets interesting. Some people are coming out and claiming, hey, I got a $1.200 raise. But it's not really true that they aren't telling the truth. In actuality, we're talking about two completely distinct things here. Both the $1.200 raise from the Coca-Cola and the $1.200 raise that came about as a result of the Social Security Expansion Act. In general, they're both about the same thing. They both happened and produced at least $1.200 for a lot of people for the majority of people on a monthly basis. But it's still two distinct things. So when you see headlines or people in the public eye stating that a lot of beneficiaries have already received $1.200 rises, well, that is true for some of them. It seems reasonable that people would be affected by the coal law rather than by the changes to benefits that Bernie Sanders and his allies seek to make as a result of the Social Security Expansion Act. However, after doing more research, I discovered that this is what it all comes down to, whether the $200 raise from the Coke is genuinely coming from them, not whether they passed a raise of $200 per month for everyone. That makes sense. But you have to kind of read between the lines with all of this. Which is why I investigated the matter further, because I felt that it was necessary to determine why certain individuals were receiving raises while others were not. It's not giving some people advantages. It's not, you know, excluding some individuals and declaring you receive a raise and you don't. The COLA is to blame, not the situation at all. Every year, 
Over 71 million beneficiaries receive the COLA, and the benefits are applied automatically. Nevertheless, there are many instances in which we are unaware of this because of the Medicare. This is all I have for you right now, and I hope it helps you better. PRB premium sucks it all up. And then we don't even know that co-occurred in the first place because it's all gone and went to Medicare PBR premium.